Hello everyone. In my never-ending quest to procrastinate and do less things than I should be doing, I've decided to, well sorry, fewer things than I should be doing, I've decided to open up this uh, Amazon router, or router that came from Amazon, model number WN532N2. So I've just started, I haven't opened this up yet, I've just started trying to get it open. I'm using a thin metal blade, started down there, gone round here so I can see a clip there, there's a clip there, there's probably going to be a clip here, and I expect up here and maybe one at the top, but uh, let's see how, how I get, how far we go, whilst trying not to uh, snap it back together in the bits that I've already opened. Alright, so I've got most of the top cover off. Right, now I've got this far. It looks like there's a screw under that. So you will have to break the sticker. Right, there we go. That's the top cover off. Let's have a quick look at that. Bit of plastic for the uh, WPS button. And just some light guides for the status lights. So inside of here, it looks like the LED panel is on a separate little flyout board. Let's see if I can get this uh, board out of here. Okay, so that must be the power supply board, I would have thought. Then we've got low voltage going into here for the for powering the network part of the device. Might get some pliers for that. And then the aerial leads. So, nothing spectacular on the back. And on the front, we've got this LED board, which does look like it's removable. I'm interested to do that. Ah, oh, no, it's been soldered on, so it's just using little standoffs. Uh, but it's soldered on at the back there and at the front there. And what chips? We've got a Realtek chip here. Another Realtek chip up there. An ESMT chip, whatever that is there. Two network ports, two buttons, a button on the side here and a button there. And let's have a look at what's in the bottom of this, where the power supply probably is. Okay. 
held in with just two screws. And there we are. You've got the two terminals, so it's no, it's no earth at all, although I could probably tell that because the earth pin is entirely plastic. Um, so one comes off, goes straight to the circuit board. The other one also comes off and goes straight to the circuit board through a link. And then back down to the switch. With that really minimal clearance there. Yeah, so that's that bit there is just the clearance between the uh, mains coming in, going out to the switch, back out the switch into here. That's basically it. And it still switches on. There we go. Put it back together correctly and it still works, which is good. And, yeah, time to put it back together. So, it all fits together fairly easily. Let's make sure that the reset button looks like it's still working. Yes, it does. Um, so, yeah, there's only five clips. Uh, two on each side. And then one down near where the network port is. And then at the top, it is held in with one screw. So it does become very obvious if you do need to send it back that you may have opened it up. There we are. That's what's inside the Agital router. It'd be super helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel.